Hi, everyone. We are in uh, step three, get social, make it fun. And I'm excited about this one. I'm having, trying to have a little bit more energy on these videos. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is just go over and there's a lot going on here. So I just wanna point out some things for you. So I talk about what an online community is. Um, it's an opportunity to not only get to know your members with polls, posts and comments, but also to connect with them in fun and active ways to engage, encourage participation uh, and encourage live attendance to live events um, so that they can get the most out of the space. I talked in the launch guide about the uh, soft launch concept and doing an onboard in the onboarding section. We talked about the welcome party or the welcome invitation or orientation. Uh, to give members a foundation of understanding for what they'll be doing in the community, um, what's available to them in regards to resources and how they can connect with other members uh, in the community, because that's a uh, keynote that you want to make sure you reference to them is this is a community of members who are all going through the same thing together. So um, that's there. I have a worksheet there to go over that helps you identify some things that you like about online events and what events do you like to, to participate in? Uh, do you have time for workshops, happy hours, or ask me anything? Where does that fall in your priorities? And what do you think as far as members, what they have in their priorities? What communities have you participated in and, and most engaged in that space? What members, what are your members currently enjoying inside your community and what events have the most attendees, participants, and are talked about after the event. So that could be, you could look into your analytics, you could look back into the events that you've previously done to see who's attended those, or uh, just part, uh, you know, just checking out like what's in your community as, as comments about underneath the event. So then uh, I talk about some event types here at the bottom. Uh, getting social, ask me anything. So this could be a Q&A about the community. It could be a Q&A about the course material if you're doing a course or a program. Uh, it could just be about a, a time for you to connect with other members. Um, but the ask me anything, there's some resources at the bottom here and these links all link out to different resources. So ask me anything would be one. A virtual event, as far as like a social happy hour or a game night, speed networking, I've seen it worked well. Um, any kind of group activity, laughter yoga. I um, lead a guided meditation at accountability group in another community I'm in. And um, any other things that you could think of to do it together. When I was in another community, we actually did virtual yoga together, which was kind of fun. The co-working or collaboration team meetings. So this could be for you uh, if you have, you know, a virtual assistant that you set up as a team meeting, or you could have um, either yourself or a team member host a co-working space. And so this really helps if you want to get uh, your members encouraged, encouraging them to take action on something that you are helping them with in the community content. And this could be just a work session where you jump on, you greet everybody, you say hi, and they t everybody says what they're going to do in this work session for 20 minutes. And then you just uh, go off camera, you go do whatever the task is, and then you come back in 20 minutes, you set a timer, you come back, everybody else comes back. And then um, you see how the task went, if they had any roadblocks or if they want to share anything that helped them complete the task. And then uh, you set the timer again, uh, go back into another 20 minute session. And then at the end, you can follow back up and see how everybody did with the progress on their tasks. So that's a fun one that has a little bit of accountability with it. And if you're having uh, things that you, you're putting off, you know, like something that you just don't want to do, <laughs> that's a good time to like plan to do that task during this call because you have people that are keeping you accountable. Um, the coffee chat and text chats, they are another way for you to connect with your members in a fun way. This uh, article um, on the Money Networks page actually explains text chats and how to create that text chat event. So if you wanted to check that out, make sure you click on that link there. 
And then I have some links to resources around driving engagement with Ask Me Anything, virtual happy hours, gathering, and this is another couple of other resources for events. And then I just have a request here for everyone, if you could let me know what events you're hosting in your community and how are, how are they being received by members? Are they, are, are they excited about it? Are they not excited? What's happening? So let me know. Thanks.